Hello, today we're here to tell you about one of the most famous resorts in all of Miami Beach, the Fountain Blue. If you're looking for a non-stop luxury vacation, then look no further than the iconic Fountain Blue in Miami Beach. The Fountain Blue is the place to come if you want to feel like a celebrity. The location, the beach, the pool, the nightlife, the parties, and the history all make the Fountain Blue an unforgettable experience. Miami has so much to offer, but you could actually spend your entire vacation here at the hotel and have an amazing time. Ben Novak, a famous hotelier, purchased the Firestone Mansion in 1952 for $2.3 million. And this is what has now become the famous Fountain Blue. Morris Lapidus is the architect that designed the now famous Fountain Blue. It opened in 1954 on Millionaire's Row and it was the largest and most luxurious resort in Miami. It became the home and hangout of famous celebrities like Frank Sinatra, Elvis Presley, Bob Hope, Lucille Ball, the Rat Pack, and became the shooting location of famous movies like Goldfinger, Scarface, and The Bodyguard. Our retreat at the Fountain Blue was an opportunity to soak up breathtaking views in endless blue skies and crystal clear waters, all while relaxing on the seventh floor of the Sorrento Tower. That's the room that we stayed at right there. That's the Chateau building. Since 1948, the iconic Sorrento Tower has been towering over Miami Beach as a timeless classic of hospitality. This hotel is an impressive feat that continues to provide comfort and luxury to its guests after more than seven decades. After the hotel received a hefty $1 billion facelift, travelers can now experience the entirely new level of comfort and luxury. In 2005, the hotel closed for two and a half years to undergo rigorous renovations that transformed it into its current state. Modern elegance at every turn. All right, so here we are. This is the beautiful Atlantic Ocean at Miami here. And if we spin around, you can see... You can see the Fountain Blue. The Fountain Blue right behind us. There we go. Nope. And I forgot my sunglasses. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and there's the, oh, yeah, there's the Fountain Blue behind us. Oh yeah, there's the Fountain Blue in the background. There's the Fountain Blue behind us. So the sand in my, this is the sand in Miami Beach. We'll show you the sand everywhere. They say it's calcium carbonate made from the coral reefs a long time ago that got broken down and washed up on shore. It's kind of like, you'd think of like sandbox sand. Sandbox like if you sands. were to buy sand for your sandbox, this is probably almost exactly what it feels like, except a little whiter. Right, easy to walk on. Yeah. This is the boardwalk on Mid Beach. You can see everybody comes out in the morning to do their exercises. There's walkers, there's runners, there's bikers, and it actually goes for miles in either direction and all the way down to South Beach. The room we stayed in offered the perfect balance of modern amenities and a clean environment, ensuring you have an excellent stay, whether it be for business or pleasure. Step into a world of comforting luxury with wall-to-wall -wall carpeting beneath your feet and stunning landscape before you. Revel in the awe-inspiring vista that stretches out to embrace miles of shoreline and ocean. Guests of the room could enjoy ultimate comfort in restful nights with a luxurious king-size bed, complemented by the perfect pillows. Experience a comfortable space to soak up the surroundings, get some work done, or have an expiring read. This room provided not only fantastic views, but also power outlets for all my devices. We enjoyed the reliable internet speed that made it easy to work remotely and stay connected. Easily download your files and videos, chat with those important in your life, 
all thanks to an unbeatable connection. Stay refreshed and enjoy a variety of snacks and drinks with the convenient in-room bar. But be mindful when selecting items, as each item is on a pressure-sensitive tray that can be charged to your room upon removal. Now in the bathroom here, it's all marble. It's, it's a full um, floor to ceiling marble tile. And then this is like, I don't know, this is almost like an almost an onyx countertop, which is nice. Stone, nevertheless. So it's beautiful. Nice big roomy shower. And again, with, with the um, uh, marble tile, which is just gorgeous. It's a beautiful hotel. So this is Vida restaurant and this is the place that's opened up for breakfast. Um, but at night, then it also turns into Blade, which is the sushi place. So um, Vida during the day for breakfast uh, and lunch. And then at night, um, Blade open for amazing sushi. This is still the Arcadia pool party area. This is one of the cabanas, freaking amazing. You can see it has seating for several people. TV, I believe there's a there's a refrigerator under there, but I'm not positive. There's Lisa enjoying one of the cabanas. And this one's done a little bit differently, but they all have refrigerators and fridges and stuff. So cool. All right, these are amazing. Extra charge for these, by the way. When you, when you come to the party, you pay for these extra, like as an as an extra thing, extra thousand dollars. Like an extra thousand dollars. So around the way here, this is the pool area. And this is the pipa duck, which I think is crispy duck. So this is the crispy duck. So this is the the Chilean sea bass with with some fried rice. Yeah. And we're at. Where are we? And they're very loud people. This is hockey san and this is the Chilean sea bass that we're trying. So here's our maybe this is our ornament from Miami. Yeah, I thought the blue. blue. Yeah. Yeah, I said you should. I said you get it. Okay, let's buy it. Okay. Oh, and also, what else? Shot also glasses. So our bow tie shot glasses. Yes. So we got bow tie shot glasses because we actually don't even have shot glasses at the house. We don't have shot glasses <laughs> so now. We these. And now we do. And now we do. On this trip, we didn't get a chance to eat at Scarpetta restaurant, but we have eaten here in the past and it was honestly amazing Italian. But when I went there, they said, order the spaghetti. I'm like, spaghetti? And they're like, yeah, we're, we're world renowned for our spaghetti. And sure enough, um, had the spaghetti and it was phenomenal. So this is a Frank Sinatra collection. Frank often performed to packed houses at the Fountain Blues La Ronde Supper Club. He vacationed at the resort and even filmed some of his movies here, including A Hole in the Head, Tony Rome, and Lady in Cement. And he also broadcasted four of his episodes of a TV show called the Frank Sinatra Timex Hour. So these are some of the pictures of Frank, and you can see Sammy Davis Jr. in them, Dean Martin in them, Elvis Presley in them. You can see the Supper Club, and um, look at how Frank enjoyed and lived at the Fountain Blue.
stay at this luxurious five-star hotel was nothing short of extraordinary. Every aspect we anticipated and more were delivered, creating a truly memorable experience. <laughs>